Good afternoon and welcome to Mary's Outdoor Kitchen today. I've just popped on a little minute early than uh, three o'clock just to see who jumps on. I always like to see that somebody's coming on live before I start <laughs> so it's not a waste of time. So I'll just give a few minutes for everybody to come on. Um, today uh, I've been making pretty simple dishes for you just to whatever you might have in your larder. Uh, who's on here? Hi Rusty, good to see you. Great, nice to see you. I always like to see the first person come on and say hello and then I know that I'm, I've gone live because I have made plenty of mistakes in the past where I've done a whole program and it hasn't gone live. So anyway, I'm getting not bad. Hey Maureen, how are you? How was your lemon lime cheesecake? I hope uh, you enjoyed it and Fergus enjoyed it. Hi Marilyn. How are you? What are you girls all up to today? And it's cold, Lisa, in Wisconsin. Wow. Hey, Allie, how are you? <laughs> I bet you're pissed not being able to golf. <laughs> I had a walk around the golf course today. Uh, and uh, just to <laughs> reminisce, I guess. Uh, but it was looking pretty good. The guys are getting a chance to cut the lawn. Hi, Emma and Julie and Shanna. Oh, ready and waiting, Rusty, for me. See what I'm going to cook today. Emma, thanks again for all your advice. Yeah, I've been looking that up. So I'll let you know what the outcome is. Hey, Allie, last time you were on here, Cheryl came on too. So that was kind of nice. It's all great to see all you girls from all over the world. You loved it. Oh, thank you very much, Mo. Thank you. And Cheryl, how are you? I know. Oh, I know, Allie, me too. Not been able to golf, but just look at the golf course. It's terrible, isn't it? But at least the greenkeepers are keeping on top of it. That's an important thing. Hi, Terry. Good morning from Edmonton, Alberta. And Tammy White. Hi. And Lucas Arasimowicz. Uh, where are you, Lucas, at the moment? Are you in Las Vegas still? Or are you camping in the garden yet? <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Hi. I just like to say hi to everybody before I start cooking. Uh, oh, you did a gin call with Cheryl last week. Oh, you should have invited me on that call. I would have enjoyed that. Hi, Heather. And good morning, Tammy from Southern, sunny California. And Kathy Sweeney, nice to see you. Uh, you're coloring your hair while you're watching. That's what I was doing yesterday. Hey, Dana, how are you? How's the kids all doing? Still all bunkered in indoors, helping them help, letting them help you with the cooking? And Trish, hi, how are you? Oh, thank you so much, Kathy, my favorite. <laughs> Deborah, how are you? You got up this morning just in time. <laughs> Oh, you moved to the garden, Lucas. You're fed up in Las Vegas. You lost all your money, did you? And Leah, how are you? Hi there, Stuart. Nice to see you. And Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? Tell Emma I got 40 squares done. I need to do two more, and I think I'm complete for the blanket. The only thing is it's the wrong color. <laughs> but anyway, never mind. Let's see. Hey, Lorraine, nice to see you. Lorraine, I gave you a shout out yesterday. It's your birthday tomorrow. I know that. So why don't I make this for you for your birthday today? That would be fun. A little pasta, broccoli, cauliflower, cheesy, cheesy dish, velvety cheese. How about that for you and Ian? You can have it tomorrow. If I could bring it over to your house, I would. <laughs> but I can't just now. <laughs> this locket is just... Uh, making us all a little demented I think yes I know your birthday's tomorrow so and I think Ian's is on the 23rd isn't it he's either the day before you or the day after I know you're very similar so happy birthday to Lorraine Weselby tomorrow <laughs> and hi Ann Alu Gobi potato no I'm not making potato and cauliflower I'm not making alu gobi today Lucas I'm making a cheesy pasta dish just using ingredients what you know what you may have in the house 
which I think is important right now because we can't all get out shopping every two minutes. So this dish is basically mac and cheese, okay, but it's my way. And my way, uh, I boiled my pasta up here just to get it ready, okay, and then run it under one, you, it doesn't really matter what noodle you use, I'm using rigatoni today, all right, you can use penny, use a a tube type noodle though okay not like don't use spaghetti you need to use a tube type noodle because it needs to absorb the sauce and you want to get like when you're eating it you want to get like lovely bits of sauce right in the middle of the tube so anyway I got rigatoni today and uh, I used about half a bag which is about 250 300 grams of I, I mean I wouldn't weigh it I would just pour it out of the bag if you want to double up on this recipe it's very easy to do too hi Deirdre and Kim and Ann. Kathy, you're on. And Kathy, guess what? The last two dishes I've made, there's not been a chili in sight. I know you're going to just go and melt down right now. <laughs> so I haven't, I'm not using any chilies today <laughs> either. Um, so I've got 250 grams of pasta. I've got a cup of uh, cauliflower. What I did with this, in this dish, I put a little bit of water. I put a little uh, cling film on top of that and I put it in the microwave for two minutes to steam. All right, and then I ran it under cold water because I wanted to keep, I like to keep the color. And this is the broccoli, one cup of broccoli. I did the exact same thing. I put a little bit of water in there, put some cling film, and I steamed that. I've got it just right at the right texture that I want it. And I've got this at an al dente texture as well. Um, because don't forget, after we've done this, we're going to bake it in the oven as well. Hi, Monica. How are you? You found me. Good. Uh, Kathy, no, no chilies today, my dear. Hi, Ann. Good to see you, girls, and Lisa. Well, you're all piling on, so I guess I better get cooking. So today, this is really a mac, mac and cheese. However, you can use any style of pasta you want, any kind of tube pasta. You can use whatever kind of cheese. I'm going to be using a grated, uh, mature, colored cheddar today. If you've got Parmesan, you can add, mix the cheeses together. So really you need kind of a hard cheese, preferably a cheddar. That would be the best thing. You could either put a, an onion in this dish or I had one leek left. So I'm just using the leek. I've got some tarragon, some chili, some pepper. I've got some Coleman's English mustard, in case you don't know what that is. English mustard, our mustards are hot. Yours are, yours are more sweet. Hi, Janet. Uh, Monica, what are you saying there? Uh, uh, oh, right, okay, you're on Swiss time. And I've got one stock cube, and I've got two ounces of butter, and I've got a, two pints of milk here, but I'm not using two pints of milk. I'm only going to be using one pint of milk. So we'll start by melting our butter um, just on a medium heat. Let me just get all my utensils here. Melt that first. I like this little induction cooker because it's fun to cook outside. And then what we're going to do is I got a lovely uh, fancy dish here. In fact, I think I bought this in, uh, I think I might have bought this dish in Menorca. Uh, yes, at the times when you used to carry all those heavy ceramic things over with you on the plane, but you can't do very much now. So I'm just melting my butter. I'll just let that melt nicely. I'll just check. Hey Aileen, how are you? Everything okay? And your dad fine? Hi Deborah and Heather. Great to see you. And Bonnie, hi. And Bridget. I hope I catch all you girls coming on. Sometimes if I miss you, hi Deborah. If I miss you, don't get mad at me. Because I can't always say, oh, the weather here is uh, great today. Actually, I'm going to pick uh, one of my bay leaves off my bay leaf tree here. Because I'm just going to put that in there with the butter. You don't have to do that. I just was thinking, hmm, maybe I'll just take one of my bay leaves and put it in there. Okay, so I'm going to put my one chop leek, or you can use one chop onion, or you don't even have to put this in at all. Okay? But I just thought I would use it up rather than it go to waste. I don't like wasting stuff. So just let that melt a little bit and let the onions cook a little tiny bit. Still using my old wooden spatula. That's had a lot of years of in the kitchen, I would say. <laughs> far, probably far too many. <laughs> Monica, no. I got a mini dress on. 
Monica said, I forgot my bottoms. Monica, you're naughty. <laughs> no, no, I got my summer dress, so when I'm sitting out here in the garden, I can get a suntan. I got a bit of a tan yesterday, so that was fun. So I'll just cook those leeks a little bit. Just let them cook slowly. So what have you all been doing today? Hi, Deanne. Hi, Louise. That's my granddaughter on. How are you? What are you up to, you little munchkin? No riding the horses, or have you been riding the horses? Have you been able to get out with your mom? Hi, Shelly and Debbie and Deanne. Well, you're piling on here today. Hey, Anne, you've still got snow, yuck. <laughs> It's warm out here. I mean, it's usually around three o'clock. It's really, really nice just to sit out here in the garden, have a little glass of wine or whatever, and uh, get some sun. It's superb. Having, you're having a coffee at 7 a.m. I'm sorry, did I get you up too early, Tammy? So that's the leeks. We just want to soften them up a little bit. I don't want to cook this too quickly. I just want to get it right, so I'm just taking my time. Probably takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes to construct this dish. Not very long. And again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you dishes that you can cook in one pan. Hi, Wendy Rose and Debbie Weed. You're going to go clean out your office, Leah. Great. 7 a.m. in Arizona. Sunbathing today, Louise. Good. You're stuck in, yeah, so the horses, somebody looking after them for you, I hope. Somebody's hopefully looking after your horses for you. I know you're stuck in the house. You've been doing lots of washing and I've been doing lots of cleaning. And although I look at jobs and I go, I'll just save you for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Uh, I've been watering my plants and I managed to get a few things uh, from the garden center here. He delivered them to my back garden gate, which was terrific. I didn't even have to meet anybody. Hey Bridget. So I got some geraniums planted. I got some ivy. Uh, a couple of my window boxes, but I don't know if you can see them behind me. I replanted my bay tree because it was starting to get too big for the pot. Hey Aaron and Bridget. And Nelda, hi. So basically just soften up your onions or your leeks, whatever you're using, whatever you can find. All right, this is just going to be, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm sorry. I should pull this in a little bit closer. Here, is that better? Then you can see. I can't always see who's on here then. 90 degrees in California today. Yikes, that's wonderful. Yeah, cleaning, Maureen, can always wait until tomorrow. I agree with you 100%. Now, I've got about a half a cup of flour here, okay? And I'm going to use my whisk. And what I want, now you can use any type of flour. So I've got butter. If you haven't got butter and you've got something that resembles butter, that's called the M word, margarine, or whatever, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. You can use that for this dish too. But I prefer butter, obviously. Um, and what you're trying to do here is just make a little bit of a roux. Thicken it up. The flour with the butter. And that's about, I'd say about a half a cup of flour. So I got a nice consistency there. See, it's thickened nice and thick. So you can use a GF flour if you want. You don't have to use, this is just plain old, all-purpose flour that I'm using. So you see that the uh, flour gets a little, thickens it up a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly add one pint of milk to this. Just slowly. Because I want to thicken this up. I'm going to make a really nice velvety cheese sauce. Don't pour it all in in a runner. Okay, I know you'll be tempted because maybe you don't have any patience. But just have the patience. And just keep it stirring. It's thickening up beautifully now. Sometimes I know I feel like pouring the whole thing in, but then it turns out to be a disaster. Just keep whisking it around your pan. Got that bay leaf in there. There we go. 
Now it's really looking nice. I need much more milk though. And I'm also going to add a stock cube to this. I'll tell you why. I don't use salt very often. I do use sea salt or Himalayan sea salt. Who's on here? The sun is shining so bright. Hi, Katie. And Tammy, hi. Um, I've got one Nor stock cube here um, that I'm using. I'm just going to break it up and let it melt into the uh, milk and the butter. And that I'm using that just instead of using salt, really. Uh, you know, it's up to you. You can put salt in here. To t it's to taste, really, with how you like your salt and pepper and stuff. You see, this is a two-pint jug, in case you're wondering. Okay, so a pint is uh, 20 ounces, all right? Just so you know. This is a British pint, which is, uh, yeah, 20 ounces. And I'm just going to keep adding until I like the consistency of this. And then what I'm going to do, while that is just cooking away nicely, I'm going to add two heap teaspoons of English mustard to this. This really gives it a punchy flavor. In fact, I had to sneak into the supermarket to buy this. There we go. It gives it a really nice punchy flavor in there. I like that mustard and I want to put a bit of tarragon in here while this is cooking so about two teaspoons of tarragon it's just dried if you have fresh great but you know if you don't it doesn't matter and if you don't don't worry about it if you have some dried parsley put that in or you have some dried mixed herbs Italian mixed herbs put that in and what we're doing is we're getting a nice color here with the mustard see and I'm gonna add some more milk obviously thickening up nice and slowly. There's no, you don't have to rush this. Again, we're back down to our one pan cooking. I think this is a pretty simple thing to do just while we're in isolation. We want sort of easy meals. We don't want to be eating too much. In fact, I've really cut down on my uh, food. Yesterday, I just had an omelet. That's it. Nothing else. Just an omelet. And... Uh, it was delicious, actually. I was going to come on live and make it, but then it was a little, got a bit late. So I didn't do that. I'm going to add a bit more. That leek is looking nice in there. So just keep adding your milk until you get a nice consistency here, because I'm going to be adding some cheese. Oh, I've got chili flakes here. Oh, I said, Kathy, no chilies. I'm going to put some chili flakes in. Too bad. <laughs> Not a chili in sight. I think I just told a fib about that. Okay. So I've got my grated cheese here. So I'm going to put start putting that in now. And that's going to melt. I'm going to keep a little bit for the top. So this is a 250 gram bag. I want to keep some for the top. Just melt that in nice. There we go. And then after we get this all constructed and put together, I'm going to put it into another dish. Who's on here? Ruth Foran. I haven't seen you for a little bit, Ruth. Laurie Barbie. Hello, my Laurie Barbie Smith. How are you? How's things in Canada? I heard a very terrible tragedy happen in Canada. I think it was yesterday. Oh, terrible. Somebody went crazy, and I'm very sorry. Pray for Canada right now, folks. The wonderful thing about cooking on my own channel here, I used to cook on another channel uh, for some girls, I, which I still do now and again, but it's nice on here because I can mention anybody's business, I can mention anything I want about anybody. Oh, and I'm just about at 4,000 likes and 4,500 followers, so this is a little bit of a celebration. So we got a nice cheese sauce going on here. Oh, yummy. Yum. Okay, I'm just going to add the pasta, because I want to get that pasta all soaked into that cheese sauce. Hang on. Can you see that? I hope I don't fill my dish up too much. It's all right. It's all going in there. 
that's what I like about this pan, this frying pan that I bought. It's like about two and a half, two and a half inches. So I want to get all the cheese mixed into the pasta. This is going to be really yummy. Oh, I'll tell you another thing you can do with this dish. If you have any uh, bacon or uh, uh, what do you call it? Those little chopped bits of bacon. Um, if there's a name for them. I've just forgotten. And if I think that's just a little bit too thick, I can always add a little bit more water. Uh, sorry, milk. I'm adding milk. Sorry. Sorry, water. If I think it's too thick. And I'm going to add my cauliflower to that. And then I'm going to add my broccoli. And the cauliflower, I've only steamed it for two minutes in the microwave, as I told you. There we go because I want to show you how I finish this all off. And that's my broccoli. So you see, this is just a pasta. In fact, to be honest with you, you could actually serve it right from this pan, but you'd have to let it cook. But I like to brown it up in the oven. So that's what I'm going to do, just to make it really nice. So I'm going to just leave that there for a moment. Okay, and I'm going to turn that off because I don't need that on. One loose noodle, I'll put that in some cheese on it all right and I'm gonna push this over and just show you what I'm gonna do now sort of the presentation how I like to present it Oop. Oop, nearly broke something there okay so the next thing is I have a beautiful dish here which I think I got in Menorca some time ago because I used to buy cookware from all over the place. Wherever I went, I was buying kind of cookware and stuff. Who's on here, Maureen? Yes, Maureen, it does look delicious, dear. Well, I'm going to pour this into this lovely cooking dish that I have because what I'm trying to say to you is, you know, everything, you could put this on the table after it's you finish making it and everybody can just help themselves so you're not messing up a whole bunch of dishes in every two minutes. Okay, just move that over a bit. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is just pat that down a wee bit. There we go. And your broccoli, although it's just sort of, and your uh, cauliflower, although it's al dente, it, um, I'm gonna put some tomato on top of this now. I love tomato on top of this dish. And I even use the tops and the bottoms of the tomato, I don't care probably going to need two. I just put the bottom pieces on and the tops. It's not going to hurt you. Just cut your tomato up. There we go. All right, I want to put some pepper. You could have put some pepper into your cream sauce, your cheese sauce there too, if you wanted to. Not a problem. And then what's the last thing? A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese just to top it off. I just use this whole thing of cheese, so. And my little boy's here watching me. Aren't you? Aren't you, Biscuit? You're wondering what you're gonna get. There we go. So. Here you go, all ready for the oven. I'm gonna put that in the oven at 350. And I'm just gonna show you my little boy here. He's looking, I don't know whether you can see him. Can you see him? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> That's Biscuit, already taking him for a big long walk today. That's just one of my dogs, there's another two. <laughs> Hi Alka, how are you? So what I would do with this now is I will cover this with a little bit of foil. I'll put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 375. Then I'm going to take the foil off for about 10 minutes until that gets lovely and crispy and brown on top. And you can mix some Parmesan on top there as well if you wanted. So that's just again my one pot cooking for you. Hi Joyce, how are you? And Lorraine? Oh, you're welcome, Lorraine. So that's for your and Ian's birthday, specially made. I wish I could bring it over to your house right now, but I can't, unfortunately. Uh. Hey, Barbara. 
So, Kathy, sorry, I did put some chili in there after all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to be making alu gobi maybe next. Alu gobi is potato and cauliflower, Indian style, uh, which I would like to uh, make as a kind of another, this is a vegetarian dish, not a vegan dish, but a vegetarian dish. And here's biscuit beside me. And I would like to make the alu gobi. That's a nice another vegetarian dish that you can sort of serve with just rice. But I make it a little bit different. I don't make it so dry as you have in an Indian restaurant. Hi, Mary. How are you? And Lola? Ah. Yeah, go back and watch replay, Lola. And also, um, if you're checking, I've got um, the recipe up at the top of the video here. And also, if you want to look, I've got another few recipes like starter soups on my um, on my website, which is www.maryjoancalder.com. You can have a look at that if you want to see how to make the lemon lime cheesecake my friend Maureen was just talking about. <sighs> Very good. Well, I hope you enjoy that. As I say, it's simple. There's only another sort of like 20 minutes or 30 minutes of cooking this to heat it through so you can make it ahead of time, prep it early, and keep it on your, cover it up uh, with some foil and just get it ready uh, to pop in the oven when you're ready to have your dinner. So I'll see Cheerio. Hi, Christina. Hi there. Okay, kids, I'll see Cheerio. Have a wonderful day. Go enjoy, I hope, the sunshine or the snow or whatever weather you're enjoying. And uh, let me know what you're doing in isolation. A lot of people are learning new talents in isolation. I, I know that I have a few, uh, some sort of techie stuff that I didn't know before. So getting a little better at that. So I'll say Cheerio. Have a wonderful day. And remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. More people need a smile at this time. Bye now. <laughs>